Welcome to St. Pascal Balon's Ultra Server Training Video. This video is meant to help you learn, grow, and serve the Mass, and especially assist the priests here at St. Pascal's. We are grateful for your service. When you first get to St. Pascal's, after getting dressed and putting on your dress shoes, we come here to the sacristy to pray before the Mass. When we finish, you leave to prepare for the Mass. If your job is to light the candles, take a lighter from the drawer in the sacristy and go light each candle around the altar in the sanctuary. It's also important to remember to fill a glass with water for the priest, especially Father Lane, and place it on the table next to the priest chair in the sanctuary. If your job is to light the incense, take the thurible off the wall in the sound room and bring it to the utility closet when we use this for special occasions and during the holy seasons of the year. When preparing the incense, make sure the thurible is clean, then take a piece of aluminum, fold it in half twice, and place it in the bottom of the thurible. If there's already charcoal in the thurible, dump it into the red protective trash can so that nothing can catch on fire. Then the second server takes a piece of charcoal with the tongs and holds it out for the first server. The first server should pick up the lighter and light the charcoal in the middle of the star. Sometimes you have to pull the lighter back to get the charcoal to light. Once the whole piece of charcoal sparkles, place it in the center of the thurible and close the lid. From that moment onward, you need to swing the thurible to make sure that oxygen keeps the charcoal burning. If ever unsure, have an adult help you. After the incense is lit, Bring the thurible and a boat full of incense to the narthex to meet the candle people, the cross person, and the priest. When you hear the announcements to begin Mass, stand up from the pew in the narthex and get into line with the last three pews of the church. If there is incense, the first people in line are the thurible and boat person, followed by the cross bearer, and finally the candle people. The priest and the person carrying the gospel will process at the end of the line. Begin to walk when you hear the music. Be sure to walk to the right of the altar and line up on the top step behind it. After the priest kisses the gospel, Everyone but the incense people can put back the cross and candles and go to the altar server pew next to the organ. The priest will then incense the altar and the cross, and during Easter time, the Paschal candle. Then the incense people can hang up the thurible and boat and return to the pew. The servers bow together to reverence the altar, which is a symbol of Christ, and stand in their pew. Meanwhile, the cross book person returns to the altar picks up the black book, or whatever the seasonal book color is, and holds it in front of the priest. After the Gloria, when there's one sung, 
the server will change from the seasonal book to the red book, also known as the Roman Missal, and once again hold the Roman Missal in front of the priest. When the priest finishes, place the book on the table next to the priest, bow to the altar at the bottom of the steps, and return to the pew with the other servers. As the second reading finishes, during Sunday Masses, the candle and incense people, if there's incense, will stand and return to the altar. retrieving the candles and incense. And line up to the side of the altar for the procession with the gospel. The priest picks up the book of the gospel, begin to walk counterclockwise around the altar, and process up to the ambo. The candle people will stand on either side of the ambo, and the incense people will stand behind the priest on the line on the floor. The priest will then incense the book of the gospel. After the gospel is finished, you will put the candles and incense back in their places process down the steps bow to the altar and return to the pew The book person will return to the sanctuary and retrieve the seasonal book once the homily is finished and hold it in front of the priest for the universal prayers. When the priest finishes, the book person will put the book back on the table and go to the credence table by the Blessed Sacrament Chapel to set up the altar for the preparation of the gifts and altar. The book person will take the corporal and the incense people will take the chalice, purificator, and cruet of water to the altar. When setting up the altar, first unroll the corporal. Pick up and place the Roman Missal on the cross in the center of the corporal. Then place the chalice, purificator, and cruet of water to the right of the book. If necessary, don't forget to pick up the microphone from beneath the altar and place it next to the chalice. Meanwhile, the candle people leave immediately from their pew when the universal prayers are complete and will go into the sanctuary to retrieve the candles to carry them to the credence table in the nave of the church for the procession of the gifts. When the priest is standing on the steps in the sanctuary, 
process forward and lead the people carrying the gifts of bread and wine. When the other servers finish setting up the altar, they come and join the priest standing at the steps of the sanctuary on either side of the priest and wait to receive the gifts. After the gifts are received, the servers will return to the altar and place the wine cruet on the right next to the chalice and the bread on the left side of the book. The servers go to the credence table to retrieve a bowl and towel and come back into the sanctuary to line up behind the altar on the step to wash the priest's hands. At the same time, the priest will then add some water to the wine and give the cruet to the book person. Next, the incense people will bring the incense to the priest, bow, and swing the thurible to incense both the priest and then the people of God three times to the left, center, and right. At the same time, the candle people will bring the towel and dish to the altar so that the priest can wash his hands. When the priest finishes, the servers can put their items back on the credence table by the Blessed Sacrament Chapel, return to their pew, and prepare for the Eucharistic prayer, and later to receive communion. After receiving Holy Communion, the servers will clear the altar and put each item back where it came from. Don't forget to turn off the microphone and put it back under the altar if it was used. The corporal should be gently rolled up, and then everything should be put back on the credence table. The service can then return to their pew to stand, pray, and sing the communion song. Everyone will be seated when the priest bows to the Blessed Sacrament Chapel and sits down. After the announcements, the book person will come forward to hold the Roman Missal in front of the priest one last time for the closing prayer and perhaps a blessing. After putting the book back on the table, he or she will go to retrieve the cross from the sound room and line up with the candle and incense people in the sanctuary near the ambo. You will lead the priest to the altar and pause next to it. The priest will kiss the altar, and then everyone will process to the narthex with the servers leading the priest. You will process to the three pews at the back of the church and line up. When the priest turns around to face the altar, you also turn to face it. After the priest bows and turns around, you turn around and lead the priest forward, either to the narthex or to the baptismal font. Keep the formation and candles lit until you are safely back in the altar server's sacristy area. There you will blow out the candles. After Mass, it's important to remember to retrieve everything and put it back where you found it before Mass, and put back your garments in their proper place in the drawer and the closet. Hang your alb on the hanger provided for you in the altar server closet. Make sure the baptismal font is turned back on, and the lights marked E4 are turned off. Then you may find your parents and go home. We give you thanks for celebrating a wonderful Mass and helping the priest and people worship God at St. Paschal Balon.